today uh, we'll be reviewing the battery bank uh, which is uh, manufactured by condor uh, and its uh, battery bank is usually can be used for charging your battery uh, charging your lap uh, charging your uh, mobile phones apple ipods or tablets including nexus 7 or any other tablet which you, which you may have this uh, condor uh, battery capacity is 10400 mh if you uh, try to visualize in terms of how big it is so uh, you can compare it with uh, battery of uh, nexus 4 if you have uh, which has a capacity of 2600 mh so if you compare that uh, this one with the uh, capacity of nexus 4 uh, battery this is approximately equal to four times of the battery of uh, Nexus 4, right? Uh, apart from that, uh, for a given input of DC 5 volt 1 ampere max, the, it gives you output of uh, 5 volt 1 ampere and also the output of 2.1 ampere. As you can see, you got two USB ports here. Uh, the capacity, I mean, the output of the two USB ports are different. One, um, both are uh, giving output at 5 volts, but the ampere is different. That is, one is giving at 1 ampere, and the other one is giving at 2.1 ampere uh, output. Right? This is the charging port which uh, you can use for charging this particular battery bank. And for if you want to uh, uh, for charging your portable devices like. Uh, iPhone, mobile phones, Android phones, smartphones, or even iPad, tablets. You can use these these two slots. Normally, uh, you'll be using the 2.1 ampere uh, volt uh, ampere slot for charging the tablets, and uh, you should use the 1 ampere uh, output uh, to charge your uh, mobile phones or smartphones, right? So as you can see here, uh, this is the uh, power button to uh, to charge uh, to start uh, this uh, battery bank. You just need to connect uh, the output and uh, uh, the USB cable to one of these slots, and uh, you can connect uh, this particular cable to the. Uh, device which you want to charge on right here you can see uh, the led getting lighted up basically these comes with automatic switch off uh, option uh, which means that if you uh, if you are not connecting a uh, device that needs to be charged to this the uh, charger will automatically be switched off Similarly, these four LEDs you can uh, can be used also to know what's the capacity means how much charge uh, is left inside this uh, battery bank. So, if all the four uh, LEDs are glowing, it means that the um, ba ba battery bank is fully charged. But uh, at the moment, you can see that only two two of the LEDs are glowing which means that we have used almost 50% of this uh, uh, char uh, battery bank for charging our uh, devices and only 50% of uh, uh, battery bank is left which can be used for charging your cables right the only problem that uh, came, uh, that occurs with the uh, this device is that the device didn't came with a charger you need to use your existing uh, charger using the cable and uh, using uh, using any other charger for your mobile device you can uh, charge this uh, battery bank to fully charge this battery bank normally it takes around 7 to 8 hours or you can just uh, plug in uh, this uh, battery bank to your uh, power, uh, power plug and in uh, uh, almost eight, seven to eight hours or overnight, uh, when you woke up in the morning, you'll see that uh, the uh, battery bank is fully charged, which can be visible uh, by seeing the lights 
if all the four uh, LEDs are glowing, that means the battery bank is fully charged, right? Let's see. We'll try to charge this uh, our Nexus device using this battery bank, right? You can just plug in this uh, USB cable here and then plug this device, right? As you can see, the charging option has started, right? The device has started to charge. Yeah, here you can see the device is getting charged and uh, the LED keeps glowing but uh, as you can see here but uh, if I pull the plug of the charging device so you will see that LED will uh, uh, switch off automatically in around 30 seconds to 1 minute we will wait for the LED to switch off let's see The cost of the device is approximately 40 euros, uh, but uh, if you are uh, looking for a cheaper device, you can uh, go for a, a smaller capacity of the battery bank. Basically, 10,400 is too much of uh, too much capacity for normal use. Uh, if you are, uh, if you just need to power your a uh, single device just like your smartphone then you can uh, buy a, a device which is almost half the capacity of this uh, existing one right. so that's it after a few seconds the, uh, the device will uh, get powered off so usually it's a very good uh, battery bank as you can see the LEDs has gone uh, off and the device is powered off this is a very good solution if you are using a smartphone or a tablet uh, on the run or while traveling and uh, you, you sh it will help you avoid uh, running after the charging points and will uh, help you also enjoy your uh, smartphone or the tablet experience. Thank you for watching the video. Do uh, subscribe to us using the subscribe button at the top right corner of the video. Thank you.